Hello doll lovers, it's Ruby Rags World of Dolls and welcome back. Thank you so much for stopping by. I hope that all is well, fantastic and fabulous your way. Happy Mother's Day to all you awesome moms. Um, I am going to do a quick video here because you know it's Mother's Day and I have plans with my girls. Guys, you know I don't have my mom anymore. I lost my mom in 2015 um, and Mother's Day has not been the same as a matter of fact, no day has ever been the same. Um, you guys that have lost your moms, you know exactly what I'm saying. There's an emptiness in my heart and in my life every day that I live that cannot be filled with any doll or any love. You guys know how I feel about my angel cake and my daughter. They are my world. But that emptiness that I feel since I lost my mother, who is not with me anymore, I can't feel it. And it's just... It's just an ex unexplainable feeling of emptiness. So if you still are blessed to have your mama, cherish her. Cherish every moment with her. Love her. Make memorable memories. Because those things are going to mean something when she is no longer with you. So, again, happy Mother's Day. Alright, so I'm here with happy mail. Now, Ken has sent me some happy mail. I got this happy mail last week. Um... The weeks, during the week is so busy, and then sometimes on the weekend, like today, it's busy. But I want to get this video out here. This video is a two-topic um, two thing. You know, I my phone is going off. I know it's everybody wishing me Happy Mother's Day. But I want to share my happy mail here with you guys. And then I have another inquiry that I want to share with you guys because I got a lot of interest about it, so I thought I'd do a video about it. But first off, these three packages here. Ken, like I said, hit me up on Instagram to say he had sent me some more sweet treats, you know, and I was like, oh, wow, you know, so I came home that day and there was a package from him and I had, it was a big box and I'm like, oh my goodness, doesn't he know I'm trying to cut back on sweets? Look at all this big box full of sweets. But when I opened the box, it did have a lot of sweets in it, but it did still have this in here, and I didn't even expect, I didn't expect any of it. But he has sent me dolls that I have never even thought I would own in my collection. You guys saw my other package of Happy Mail from him. And he packaged it so nicely, guys. I, I wish that I would have had the time to record and unbox it here on the channel. But like I said, you know, I was ready to get the sweets out of the box. And I knew I wasn't going to have time to do a video like I wanted to do. So I didn't get to show that. But he always packages it so nice and neatly. You know, I love Happy Mail. I love that you guys love the channel and that you want to send me something special because you enjoy the channel. Guys, this channel means as much to me as it does to you guys. You know, I don't consider myself a doll enthusiast. I don't consider myself a doll expert. I'm just somebody that has been collecting dolls for over 35 years, and I love dolls. I love all kinds of dolls, and that's what gets me in trouble and why I have so many, and I'm so overwhelmed. I have purged dolls over the years. And I'm still working in the process of letting dolls go. And it's so hard to let them go. Even if it's dolls that I don't even interact with anymore. And I don't even connect with them anymore. It's just still hard to let them go because they're part of my doll family. But, you know, I got to do it. You know, I want them to find a, a better, find a home where they'll be loved and played with and enjoy it. Or maybe another adult collector like myself might be interested in having them. So I've been doing that slowly but surely but it warms my heart and I will continue to bring these videos because so many of you enjoy these videos you know my channel isn't a froggy stuff and I don't even compare myself to froggy stuff and all these other great channels out there my channel is just about me sharing my love enjoying the dolls and interacting with you awesome guys out there as well so first off this one is for the angel cake the angel cake is always thought about as well. So this is a this doll is by what Takara Tommy. Um, I've seen these dolls. I've heard about these dolls. I think they have the most adorable little faces. And I think this is called Lekka. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right, but I'm sure you guys will correct me in the comments. But this is for Angel Cake. So I'll be taking this to her today, and she's going to be instructed that it's a collectible and that she cannot unbox it. 
She's going to want to, but she's not. So isn't that just lovely? Look at that adorable face. This is gorgeous. So this is for the angel cake. And this is gorgeous. From what I, from what I think um, Ken told me, this is like the version, their version of um, Chelsea and Barbie and um, Stacy, Stacy dolls. So um, that's another version. And like I said, I thought they were adorable. I still think that. And this one is for me. And this is the Rocka Billy Cherry. And look at that outfit that she wears. This is just gorgeous. And I probably will not unbox her. I will probably leave her in the box. Because the presentation is just so awesome. But check this out. Isn't this just adorable? Look at that skirt. Oh my goodness. Look at that doll. I love their faces. Their faces are just adorable. And who knows. Maybe at some point I might unbox her. And then here is some more information about these dolls. And they're just gorgeous. They're just adorable. Look at all the accessories. So this is like their version of Barbie and Chelsea. And you know like I said. um, Our, bar our version of Barbie. And then the candy dolls. So you guys know that he sent me a candy doll. So now he sent me an outfit. And my candy collection is growing. So this is an outfit. Look at the details in this outfit. I, I never heard of these dolls until you guys sent me these dolls. But look at the details in those fashions. And then here on the back of the box, you've got more fashions, casual, day dresses, evening, and suits. Look at the details. And the dolls are gorgeous. I have these dolls um on doll stands displayed in my um daughter's room which is another space for dolls that I said I wasn't going to do and I did it anyway but you know I'm going to try to get it confined down to a smaller section though but Ken thank you so much for these beautiful dolls I I, I I'm so I thank you and the angel cake is going to love that and I'm going to tell her I'm going to put it on her shelf in her room with her other collectibles to let her know it's a collectible so up next is this this um beauty here now what did i do with her box all right so this beauty here is she's part of the um barbie 65th um anniversary collection and look at the artwork there yes i already unboxed her too she came unexpectedly and i just couldn't wait i had to unbox her her number is 221 and here is um a view of all the dolls in this collection i she's readily available and he's available on um and she was and of course she is the gold 222 and the one that i'm showing you now and i want to say 223 i think they're sold out at the time at the moment but i i think i want her but then somebody shared her on instagram and her hair is not um as good as it should be so i might wait to see if i can get her in person wait and see if my local walmart ever gets her in my local walmart's been getting in some some stuff some some new stock so we'll see and then this this ken here number 227 they're all inspired by in this current way they're all inspired by the 65th anniversary barbie's 65th anniversary and she's inspired by the um, first um, African American Black Barbie, 1980, and um, I think they did a very good job. I really like this doll, but I didn't do an unboxing of her. And the reason why I am sharing her is because so many people have hit me up on Instagram about her body type and her skin tone, body um made to move body skin tones. So here she is, and I love the dress. Her hair is a beautiful soft color. Beautiful brown eyes. Loving the red lip. Um, she's gorgeous. I just love her. And then she comes with this plastic um, necklace. I love the necklace. I like the design of the necklace. I think it looks good with her red dress. They did a really good job on the dress. The dress feels like it looks. It Velcros here in the back. Then she's wearing these um, fabulous high heel pumps. With the string detail again done fabulous. Um, basic five points of articulation. Yes. 
Now, I was asked about her body type. Now, when I took her out of the packaging, I will say this. I did think that her body type was different from um, the other regular body types. Someone asked me, was it more like the um, Brooklyn athletic body? So I, I don't, I'm going to have to remove her dress so that we can look at her body more in detail. So this is her body. This is what her body looks like. So she is on a different body. I'm not sure what body you would call this, but as you can see, this is her body. This is what she looks like. So she is different from a regular body type. I don't know if you would consider it the athletic body like Brooklyn, or is it more like a body like um, Odessa, like um, Come on, dress. Get back on her dress. So you guys did get to see her body type. It's not the regular body type. It's the other. And I didn't put the dress on. Put it on right. Come on, girl. But the big thing was the body matches. Now, I don't really have... I pulled out the dolls that were that I have available and when I say available I mean able to assess them because I've got dolls put away and it is just too much of a hassle to find them but I think I did still find all of the dolls that come pretty close to her so let me get her back on the stand because I did have her on display I don't plan on rebodying her you know, because I, I'm not going to rebody every doll that I get. Every doll is not going to be a character in my mini verse. You guys know I told you that's how I roll in my mini verse. You know, she's not going to. I already have Ale with the beautiful um, Afro and some couple of others. And, you know, I just love her so much that she'll probably end up shelved when I get my shelf that I want for my collectibles and dolls that are on display. Um, she'll probably go next to my other. Um, my other black Barbie. But she's right gorgeous. Alright, so let's start here. I pulled her out. Now, you could get away with the match here. So this is, um, what is it, the Tamika from the Barbie Looks. She's on a petite body. Um, you, could, you could get away with that, as you can see. It's not a perfect match, but I guess it just depends on your standard of matching. And then this is the Brooklyn body and she has on a sweater but I'm gonna have to pull her arm out of there so we can compare seems like when I compared it you know again it's difference but it's not a lot of difference you could get away with that once you put the hand on that body I do feel like you could get away with it because it's more so the head that you have to match let's see So let's get your all right. So the arm compared to the head, it's a little difference, as you guys can see. I hope you I hope it shows on camera, you know, enough for you guys to see. I guess it just depends on how bad you want to put them on a made to move body. And then this is Naomi. Again. I don't think that mat it's it's off, but again, it's just up to you. I'm just showing you guys what I have in my collection. And then this is the fashionista um that was in the wheelchair. Let me pull her arm up. And this is hers. So this is her match. How she would look on her body. She's still dressed in that fabulous ensemble. That the angel cake did when she did her little fashion show. <laughs> Get up there, girl. All right, and then I want to say I think she is on the yellow top. I want to say I think she's on yellow top. Cause guys, you know how it gets. I know how I do in my collection. I the the made to move bodies get tossed around a lot. But here is, I think this is yellow top. I want to say I think that this is a yellow top um, made to move body. Yeah, I think that that's the body type, that she, the body that she's on. I mean, I'm just being honest. I change them up a lot 
and they sometimes I get I don't remember what who originally had that body girl don't you fall over stand up her shoes are going back all right all right you just stand right there for now all right then we got this new beauty here that we just got from the looks so let's see what the skin tone match you could probably use her I think that she would make a good match she would make a good match so this is the new looks doll so the new looks doll she is a good match for her a good match for her okay Get your hands out of her hair. And then this is Ale. Chocolate. Chocolate curvy girl. And again, there is the comparison. The arm to the head. Because the head is what you're going to be using. Because a lot of times the body. You guys know that these dolls are even different from their body. Their original bodies. Alright. So you could probably use Ale. But I'm not telling you which one <laughs> that you should use. I'm just giving you, showing you what I got. Oops, in my collection. All right. All right, girls. Are we going to do right? Are we going to just, are we going to just, are we going to do this? Are we going to cause problems? Or are we just going to get on the stand and do what we're supposed to do? Okay. So last but not least, this is Lil Mama. And I think her and La Mama are deaf perfect. You know, their skin tones are perfect. And La Mama is on a petite body. But La Mama's body type is perfect. But, you know, La Mama is kind of pricey right now. Um, so I don't know. You know, I don't know. Um, she's kind of pricey. So I don't know if you got extra ones laying around and you don't mind her being petite. You might could put her on. Lil Mama, but Lil Mama, in my opinion, out of all the dolls that I have shared here with you guys, I think is the perfect, um, the perfect match. Though the others can work, you know, I think the others can work. I think Odessa can, um, can, this is the Brooklyn body, the new Brooklyn made to move body. I do feel you could get away with that. Yeah, I think it's a good blend, a good blend. But here she is. And she is a gorgeous doll. And like I said, I have no desire right now to rebody her. Um, she is sold out on um, Amazon. Um, seems like it said they don't know when or if they will get it back in stock. But hopefully she'll pop up in my Walmart when the rest of them pop up in my Walmart. I don't understand how it works. I don't know how in the world these dolls are distributed. I have no clue. But... My local Walmart is just stocking this wave of 213. Um, did I see 224? I didn't. They didn't have any of this new current wave. Just the older wave. The 214, um, 218. I have not seen 219 in the stores, period. Um, 217, I never saw her in my Walmart. I was shocked the other day, guys, in my local Walmart because they had um, my they have the mate the new made to move dolls. You guys know I told you on my last video that my local Walmart very rarely gets the made to move dolls. Well, they have the basketball player, the volleyball player, and the tennis player. They did not have the boxer though. They did not have the boxer. I probably would have grabbed another boxer. But they did not have the boxer. The basketball player, the tennis player, and the volleyball player, they had. And they had a nice little um, collection, um, selection of them in the store. They had the new um, Love dolls, the new Love premium fashion dolls. Those dolls are $30 a pop. Um, I was not impressed with the face sculpts. Um, I think the fashions are fabulous. They did have... One box of the four fashion sets that go with the dolls. They were twelve, thirteen. Might as well say thirteen dollars a set, which is reasonable for what you get a full fashion, full complete fashion um, pack, shoes, purse, 
outfit, the whole shebang, and pretty much good details. But they did not have the the black doll. They had a label on the shelf for her. Now, I could order her online and pick her up at the store, but they didn't have her on the shelf. Um, I do want to get my hands on one of those dolls. And, and yes, the black, the black girl is by far my favorite when it comes to the style and all. Um, so I did want her, but I didn't get to see her in person like I did the other girls. And like I said, they're beautiful dolls, but I don't know if that $30 price point is what I'm willing to pay. I have seen um, reviews of them. They are, they're fully articulated. They're smaller than the Barbie, um, than the Barbies, the regular size Barbies. And, um... I did see a couple of, did see the new fashion pack from the Naturalistas, um, the sleep set with the bonnet and the, I'm going to say, robe, satin-like robe. There was a few new things in the toy section. I was excited to see them, but I didn't buy anything. I didn't buy anything. I was so proud of myself. I still want to get the new Ken Couture. I know that has been a lot of negative talk about that doll. But like I told you guys, I want him. I hope that he is still available when I am able to get him because I do want to add him to my collection. He is the first kin of a collection of kins that I hope that we continue to get. Um, there are things about him that I'm not too pleased about. The fact that he's on a modern use body. He does, he's basic five points of articulation. Not even really basic five points because the modern use bodies, their legs don't move like the regular basic five point fashionista bodies. Um, his face sculpt is okay. It's not as bad as everybody says it is. I do feel like they could have made a better first choice um, with the first one they did, but they didn't. Now that's the angel cake calling me, even though she's getting ready to see the Mima. But, um, but I'm still getting him. His attire, his fashions, oh my goodness, they are gorgeous. And I can't wait to get my hands on that, um, on those fashions for sure. So guys, I'm going to close this video out right now. Um, this is it. <laughs> um, I hope that I covered whatever curiosity you guys might have about the doll. Um, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to check us out on Instagram. We are Ruby Red's World of Dolls there. Continue being awesome, fantastic, and fabulous. And I will see you awesome, amazing people in my next video.